Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Crawling UK here with Siberia 2, part 3. Uh, we are now on our way to the monastery. Kate is wearing some warm looking clothing. So I'm hoping that she's going to be wearing these throughout because we are going to some cold areas. I keep saying the road ahead is going to be, I don't know, glacier or something, or maybe cold. <laughs> I don't remember. But we are going across this bridge now with, we've got a shroud of Hans's face and we're going to see the monks and say, look, this is his face. Do you think he's well? Can you treat him? What's she looking at? Okay, she's looking up. It's a big monastery. I guess I have to pull this rope stick thing. I can't interact. Oh, wait. You have to stand to the side. Wow. That's not good. We'll go this way. We will walk up to your monastery. Excuse me. I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty solitary strangers. <laughs> I don't intend to hang around long, brother. I'm traveling <laughs> with an old man, Hans Vorlberg, and. <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No, <laughs> but I know someone else. Huh? Can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse. Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. My friend is very ill, you know. It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. Oh, 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 never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our lord and patriarch. <laughs> eh? I'm looking for someone with a medical background, someone who can tend to the sick. Our patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> you couldn't help me, could you, please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our patriarch yonder. In the monastery. Okay. You say that I could find someone to help me. Up there, at the monastery. Yes! At the monastery, oh yes! <laughs> he laughs way too much. I rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> okay. What law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. I must absolutely find a doc- I just do the laundry, my sister, that is all. Down here, there are some doctors, and others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. Uh, Do you hear? It is... Yes, we heard. Why won't you help me? I must finish... Yep. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> He's laughing way too much now. Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> oh few are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me. What have we got to do to get into the monastery? 
You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. Um, I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules. Rules and traditions to respect here. Respect. <laughs> what Good grief. rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. Okay. So how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it is... it is not a question to ask, my sister. You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> it's like, uh... Um, yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. It's like Gollum. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> I don't understand Latin. Latin? Like the birds. Erythacus rubicula, picus viridis, merula alba. What is a merula alba? A rare bird. <laughs> It can never be seen, as it is as white as snow. They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears, and his intelligence grows and grows. There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. You speak Latin, then? Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Hmm. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> pretty birds. Pretty birds. Okay. Picus viridis? Woodpecker. How about Erythacus rubicula? Uh, robin red breast. And Merula alba? White raven, my sister. Femina in consensus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, no. Right. I get it. Because I'm a woman, I'm forbidden access to the monastery. Exactly. And now I understand. <clears throat> That's the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Of course, brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? I'm going now. I'll be back soon. What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to get far from here. Oh, I can go there? No. So what do I need? Besides to look like a man. Let's see him shake his head at me again. Backs down. Nah. That's right. Okay. She's just gonna look up again and. That was a wasted journey. So I need more help again. I need to speak to tons of people. Or I need to maybe wear a hat or. look like a man somehow. Wear Oscar's hat. That'll make me look like a bloke. Yeah, let's have him bother them. He's back. Yeah, better not go in. Okay. That's fine. Where is my little friend? Is there anything I can say to her? Is there anything she can tell me? She obviously knew this, so... That's why they didn't help her mother, maybe. Tell me. How is it going? No. Nope. Thank you for your nothing. Come back and. Okay, how about the guy in the pub? The guy in the pub is waiting. Mr. Circos. Circos, that's it. What can I do for you, Miss? Monastery. How do you get up to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker, and good luck. 
Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. I was looking at my items there, but I just remembered I can't really use anything on myself. I would have to interact with something or someone, and then the change would make place. Or if someone could come with me. Go in here. Colonel Emilyov? Is everything as you would like it, Miss Walker? Colonel, you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? A bird call? Okay. Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! Okay. Silver bird call. Black bird call. Brown bird call. Thanks for all your help, Kurt. The pleasure is all mine, Miss. So I got one. So must. Uh, I don't know. I got. Colored bird collars now, and I'm not any closer to understanding what I need to do. I understand there's the guy doing the laundry at the monastery, and he's interested in the birds, and he's only interested in one particular one, which is the white one. And maybe it's linked to the silver bird collar. Siberia. How's it going? Maybe it's Your not. Brother. Maybe the callers call different types of birds. Maybe I want to test them all. I don't know. I don't know why there's so many callers. Awkward. Clothing's nice. Nice change. New game. Can the mirror make yourself into a man? No, that's not. It's a little happen. chilly to be taken. Yeah, it's a bit chilly to get a shower. Maybe it'll happen in Siberia 3. Oscar's not going to help me, he's going to mourn, so I'm going to go back with my bird collars now. At the moment it's just a game of going back and forth and back and forth. Okay. Up the hill we go. I haven't even got to the hill yet, but here we go. I was going up to the monastery with some bird whistles. Sure, which one to use? Though I'm going to assume the silver one does something. Let's see if we can give it to this guy. Oh, she does. There you go. you hear? Can you hear? The Merula Alba. It is calling to me. <laughs> he just walked calling off. Calling to me. <laughs> Has he not just walked off the cliff? What? Oh, he's left something. What's this? Ah, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, go behind the rock. Get changed. You are now now blokeified. You know what it is, don't you? It's, it's Kingdom Hearts. Organization uh, thirteen, I think it is, isn't it? You can't run. Why? 
right, here we go. How's she gonna sound manly? Maybe she doesn't have to speak. Ah, an elevator. Looks like built by Hans Vorlberg. Wow. <laughs> Some uh, defense system. Right. Yeah, okay. I assume I can't speak to be honest. Um, good evening, sir. No, that doesn't work. He's probably <laughs> petrified. Oh, good God, I've let a woman in. What's this anyway? There's a handle. There's a scraping fork of some sort. I can't remember what that is. A pot. A pot's tap. The container at the bottom and then you can back out. And something else. What's this? Box of matches. Let's pull the lever. Nothing happens. Oh, it's boiling. Let's hope there's something in there. I'll just burn. <laughs> doesn't look like that works. Yep, doesn't work. If that's going to work. If that's going to work. I need something else to act. Okay, need something else and open that. Jump I need top. some. Nope. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. It's already activated. Already activated. Oh. I don't need to do that again. Don't need to do that again. What was it? <laughs> I need something. Yeah, something else. Close it. Yep, closed. What are you even making, Kate? <laughs> what is that? Candle. Ah, oh, okay. It's a candle. Ah, they're, they're wicks. I thought it was kind of a brush or something. Uh, let's see. Wheelbarrow? No, no, I don't think there'd be anything in there. Oh, here we go. Scary chanting noise. I'm not going to try speak to these guys, but I'll try to go through the door. Walking speed is going to make this section's progress quite slow. Unless this is the only door you can go through. Which is... Which will be good, if that's the case. Uh, let's make sure you can't go left or right. I don't think you can. Something to look at. He's holding a book with a Whiling moon. away those celibate hours. <laughs> okay. This is really amazing work all the same. Okay. Yep, nothing there. I was trying to... I, have I just gone the wrong way? So when I went down, ah, yes, so you go up the screen. Okay. Hello? Anybody there? Mm hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name is Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me, but I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very troubling. Please leave quickly. 
Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father. But my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. My friend is named Hans Varlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell, and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He fell... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire. To continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. Yep, I've done that. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. There you go. Right. We will go search for your friend. More stories from New York. That's our man. He's got some. Canton? I can barely hear you. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out of Arrowbad last week. Headed off with Hans Horlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... How do you say? Differently. Mm. Okay, they're taking hands up to the monastery. I don't know how they're going to. Oh, it's an elevator, isn't it? Yeah, I know how they're getting up there. Oh, it looks small. <clears throat> mission with hands and I'm being chased by Did New York. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes. yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. Mm -hmm. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil and you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. 
I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't mm -hmm. abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over. For the formalities, you understand. So I'm going to just speculate right now. They, the two brothers in the town below, they poisoned him. They poisoned him on behalf of the monastery. And the monastery pay them to bring these people so that they can have some sort of like sacrifice. Like a sacrifice of souls. Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. We cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. <coughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <coughs> Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilen, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilen is where you were born. Here we're in Romansburg. Valadilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei. Find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei. He has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. Okay. Oh, eavesdropping. Who is Alexei? An old monk. A friend. He knows about you call medicine. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei... He can treat me. Hans... Do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass. <laughs> so you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> it seems you rate the Yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukos know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. I'll be back soon. Okay. Okay, Kate. <laughs> right, so maybe I'll uh, come across the eavesdropper now. Hmm. Hey, you like to eavesdrop. Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. Ha, 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 and what news do you bring, my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis homo mendax. <laughs> Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> Mors ultima ratio. <laughs> what? What? OK. 
Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was about to read that and it went off. I want to read it. <clears throat> In Siberia, I could press a button and it would bring up the text so I could read it easier, <laughs> but I've got to read the handwriting. Okay, so it says, Sister Alexei was a man of God and my friend. He lived away from the monastery for many years, among the strange Yukol people and their stories of the great mammoths of the old that were divine to them. I am no wise monk, far from it, but I have prayed to God long enough to understand that he takes many different forms in the imaginations of men. This might help you. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. Okay. I'm going to be thinking to look for mammoths now, but uh, who knows. What's this? A brush. Might be handy. <laughs> random brush picking up. I'm coming out there but I haven't really fully explored. I don't know if there's anything at the bottom of this corridor. So I will just have a quick look. And no, we just get a close up of Kate. There you go. We can go back into Hans's room there. But let's leave this small area. I don't think I can speak to monks, they're just going to be silent or ignore me. There is a door I can enter there. Yep. Okay, so I'm at the top right there, coming down. Oh yeah, I saw those. I thought that was steps, but it's actually just the wall and some glare from the sun. Walking round, I can see I can get to the underneath now. What have we got here? Anything? Is this even useful? Oh. Why? some sort of puzzle. Let's see what happens when I... So I pull them down and they turn on. Right, I can access them all, right? So one... That goes back to the wall and it starts there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them, like a clock. Select that and put it back. I don't think I'm able to guess what that is right now without finding some sort of clue, either a clock or something. Oops. It's hard enough getting back up there. Right, can we go around further to the top? We can. How high can you go? All the way to here? Is that the end? Significance does it have? I can't interact with it. All I can do is back out. Unless that's the end part of the puzzle and you unlock something, I don't know. I need to come out of this area. This is for exploration at a later time. So I've walked past these two monks into the yard with the white tree. 
looks to be a monk over there melted into the ground. Yeah, definitely melted. I was digging hands What's he digging throat. for? That's not good. What's he digging for? Sacrifice. That's what it is. There's a tree. Mm, it's kind of steep. But with the sled, I could slide down the slope. Ooh. <laughs> Where does she want to go? What's he digging for? What's he digging for? He's digging a grave. Can I go that way? No. Oh, what's this? Clear oh, it off. That? Someone in 1996, whoever it is. Looks like a Russian name. Oh, Alexis. What on earth is that? Who was I looking for? What's his name? Alexis and the Yukon. So that's Alexis. Um, okay, so. Oh, maybe I used the brush on the grave. Let's just quickly check that. What on earth is that? No, I don't use the brush. Uh, scroll. Uh, candle. Box of matches. What on earth is that? Can I burn it off? No. No, no, no. Nothing works, so let us leave. Okay, so I'm back to here, which is where I started. Inquire about Alexis and the Yukol's escape from the monastery. Escape? It's like I'm trapped here. So I can't really inquire about Alexis to anyone, so I'm going to have to find that leader monk guy. Let's see. He's coming straight out. He's stopping me from going behind. Hello, father. Hello, my child. You really can't do anything for Hans? His destiny is not in mortal hands. We must pray, dear girl. Pray for his redemption. But Hans has no reason to repent. His fever-driven outpourings are not those of a holy man. Oh, far from it. Hans Varlberg is not a sinner. The pagan fantasies with which he sullies the air in his delirium are those of a heretic. Pray, female, pray to save your friend from the sizzling fires of hell. You, you're... A total crackpot! You're a fanatic! I will talk to Hans, you hear? I talk to Hans. Yes. He seems better. It is but an illusion, my girl. His mortality is teetering on the brink. I know about these things. He told me about a monk who could help him. And what monk might that be, Miss Walker? A monk who has spent long years with the Yukols. That mysterious tribe from the far north. Uh, your friend is clearly very sick, my poor child. I don't think Hans is delusional when he tells me that this mysterious monk can help him. He's very lucid. Please, dear girl, lend no credence to the rantings of a dying sinner. It is clear the man is inventing nonsense tales in the vain hope of remission. We absolutely must continue our journey. We must. Don't even think about it, child. Mr. Vorlberg is in no fit state. Hans Vorlberg is going to see his dream come true. You hear me? Wretched girl. His dreams are almost at an end and there is nothing you can do. Father, do you know a man named Alexei Tukianov? He was a heretic and charlatan. He is not worth the breath, my girl. It seems Hans Varlberg considers him highly. Your friend must have lost his marbles. But could I just meet the man anyway? No. Alexei Tukianov has left us. A long time ago, Miss Walker. 
Excuse my insistence, Father, but where might I be able to find Alexei Tukianov? It's very important. Alexei Tukianov is dead, my girl. May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace! Hans often told me about the mysterious people of the far north, the Yukels. They are degenerate heathen savages that worship idols and false gods and resist the redemption of the Lord. Hans lived among them for a long time. They're like a second family to him. Please, dear girl, do not let yourself succumb to the quaint temptations of those pagans. Their only ambition is to wallow in their so-called primitive paradise and all its lechery and bestiality. Remember that those who live far from God doom themselves to eternal chastisement. Okay, I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> I want to go in here. <laughs> oh, he's gone back inside. What's this shadow? Is this shadow anything important? How about what he's holding? Whiling away those. Se Whiling mm, away. No. no. Just the same speech over and over. Right, I think this is going to take me back. Well, of course it's going to take me back. There doesn't seem to be anyone here to speak to. No. My name is Kate Walker. And you are? Very silent. I've got no time to lose. I must convince the... Yep, okay, so I can't leave this area. Which is kind of good, because that means everything I need to do is here. It's not here, it's not here, so I don't need to come back to these two screens anymore. Uh, I spoke to the Patriarch. I have been... Mm, don't know. I'll have a chat with Hans. Time that his friend died. Possibly. Hans? Mm hmm? I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. No text for the wicked. That table's got some stuff on. What's this? What's if that's that? going to work, it looks like something's missing. What? It's a blank space. Clean it. Hmm. That's not meant for that. <laughs> uh, stained mammoth. Stained glass mammoth. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? That's, yeah, not, that's meant. not meant for that. Let's see. What is meant for here? Candle? I'll need something to hold this candle. Ah. Cheese and dry bread. Yummy. I need a candlestick. Uh, box matches. Will you hold the candle? Hmm. No. I uh, don't know. Coins? Hmm. No, no. Oh, wait a minute, I had the fish thing. What's that? Fish candy. Hmm. No. That's not meant for that. Okay. What is going to hold a candle? One, two, three. Yep. Nothing I can look at there. And. Oh, there's a book. Oh, no, I don't think I can get the bucket. Go up, up, stop. Right now, come down. I can walk on the bucket. Nice. Okay, let's go this way. 
Hello, 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 hello. Can I go this way in the courtyard? No, that just leads me, leads me back. Let's see what's down here again. We're looking for a candle holder of sorts. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's a grave. It's Alexis's grave. I hope they're not thinking of putting Hans in there. Yes, they are thinking of that. I fear the work. What's he digging? Yeah, not much dialogue there. Uh, what was that? That's weird. Shadow. Something to put a candle in. Obviously, a candle holder. But I made the candle, so it should stay upright. Let's have a look over here. No, nothing. This is really amazing work all the same. This is really amazing work. Okay, let's just ask. Have you got a candle holder? Let's give him money. Hello, father. There's Hello. money for you. Okay, I think... Go, my chap. <sighs> no. <clears throat> I don't think there's many places left to look, so I'm going to end this for now. And hopefully, in the final part, and when I say final part, I mean final part of the monastery area. Hopefully, I can do part four and get out of the monastery. So, hopefully, in, the, in that part, I can find a candle holder. I can light the candle, look at the mammoth coin through light and that'll reveal what I need to know about everything so if you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up uh, if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel because this always helps me out tremendously but as always thank you very much for watching now bye